This video demonstrates how the spreadsheet sizes, locates, and manages objects. The spreadsheet is one way to manage project objects in Sketchlist 3D. It allows viewing and editing all objects in a project in one place. Features like filtering and the ability to move the spreadsheet around on your computer screen enhance usability, especially for projects with many rows. The spreadsheet allows you to see all of the objects of a project in one place and work on any of them in context to the others. The basics are that these three columns form a group, with the left and the right determining the width. Make a change in one cell. Notice that the other two column headings turn green. So if I click the right column header, the board moves to the right by one. Sketch list changes the left value two and adds the width of 40 and the left of two for a right of 42. The same applies to all three directions, right, top, and back. Make the bottom three and then click on the value you want modified. Click the top to see that the board has now moved up that amount. The advantage of the spreadsheet is that you can see any object in relation to another. Change the bottom value from one to three, then click on the value you want modified. Click the column header at the top and you'll see that the board has moved up by two. The advantage of the spreadsheet is that you can see any object in relation to another. This is an outline type of function. So for very large projects, you can collapse or expand these. By clicking on the triangle shaped arrow, you see more or less information about the project. The other thing is that the spreadsheet is movable. Normally it's at the bottom of the screen, but if you wanna make it larger to show more rows or columns, you can fill up your monitor screen. If you have two monitors and wanna make a more extensive design area like that, or wanna have a more extensive spreadsheet, you can move the spreadsheet to another monitor. Other useful things you can do with the spreadsheet is filtering. You can filter if you want to limit rows to those with specific values. Use the control, right mouse click combination to open the filtering form. For example, work with the left column header. Unclick the select all option and click the value of a half. This gives you all the objects that have a left value of one half. And while the drawer itself has a three quarter inch value, the sideboard in the drawer has a left value of one half. Remove the filter by selecting the all option. To sort rows, hold the shift key and click on the column header sorts by that value. Repeating the action reverses the sort order. You can add numbers or letters in the notes section and sort on notes to make your own sort order. So if you want to know where to line up the second drawer, you can think, well, the first drawer has a left value of three quarters, so you made the left value of the second three quarters. Then click the green button of the column header labeled top. You can enter simple formulas in the cells of the spreadsheet. The operators are plus for add, dash for subtract, and asterisk for multiple. There is no division because the slash symbol can be confused with a fraction. If you want to divide a value by half, enter the value times 0.5. To enter the formula, pause the cursor in the cell for a moment. When the box opens, you can enter your formula. Remember to click the green button column header to reflect the change caused by the formula. Thank you for watching this video. See more at www.sketchlist.com. You can also sign up for the free trial